are you doing today, Jim? I'm doing great. How about you? Good, thanks for the time. When you look at the run defense allowing 307 rushing yards against the Browns, what stands out as the biggest issues and how do you fix them before the Giants get here? Uh, I think it's just all us getting on the same page, uh, diving into the game plan, uh, working the detail, the small things. That's what beat us last week, just the small things, the small details. And uh, I, I believe once we, once we do that, because, you know, effort is an issue. Um, I think guys are playing physical, but we need it on a more consistent basis. had to get ready, obviously, for a, a quarterback in Russ Wilson that could scramble around. Is, is that a similar challenge a little bit with Daniel Jones in terms of when things break down, he can take off and, and make plays with his feet a little bit? Uh, yes, sir. I, I believe it is. Um, I don't think he's he moves quite like Russell, but he has good speed. Um, he has great he has good size. Um, and when things break down, you see him getting outside the pocket and making things happen. And uh, they also run a zone read with him as well. So that, that gives you an indicator of his athletic ability. So we have to keep him in the pocket for sure. Overall, the Giants have struggled a bit on offense. They've scored nine points each of the past two games. They're without their top running back, of course. When you look at the Giants, you mentioned a little bit the quarterback already, but what, what overall do you, do you see in, in them? Um, I mean, it's, it's NFL, man. They got talent just like any other team. Uh, you, you speak on them struggling, uh, scoring nine points. I feel like we've also struggled the last few weeks. So um, uh, it's, it's, it's all about us right now. I feel like if we, if we do what we need, need to do on defense, uh, everything can take care of itself. Key to smoothly transitioning schemes in the NFL, and to the degree that y'all haven't fully caught up on what Mike Nolan wants from you, what can you do during the week to get there? Uh, during the week, man, just just diving in, like I said earlier, to the details of the defense. Um, the details of the defense, uh, communicating a lot better, being on the same page early pre-snap and post-snap to play a lot faster. You guys have been criticized for you guys have been criticized for effort outside the building. Um, what is your response to that when someone has seen you guys play and they think you're not playing as hard as you that they think you should? Uh, that's that's outside the building noise. Uh, doesn't really affect us inside the building. If it was an effort issue, it would have been addressed inside the building, and I don't I don't think that was an issue at all. Uh, it's just. It's just communication. When you, when you, when you, uh, when we all on the same page, and we know what's going on, we play faster, and it looks a lot better. Has physicality been an issue? Has, has physicality been an issue for this group this year? And I only ask because Demarcus Lawrence said you got some soft on Sunday. <laughs> well, I don't think physicality has been an issue, but I believe some plays on Sunday were were not up to our standards. Um, and if D-Law felt that way, I, I agree with that on some plays. But it wasn't every play. It wasn't an all-day thing. It was just some plays wasn't up to our standard. The way that, as a defense, you guys are communicating and the way that you're playing together, do you think – you know, I, I'm not naive to the fact that this was a very unconventional offseason. You guys weren't on the field together in the spring. Do you feel like – you guys are at a week five in the NFL regular season level, or do you think you guys are still playing catch up when it comes to communicating and playing together? Um, I, w I wouldn't say catch up. It was, it was, I wouldn't, and I don't want to use an excuse for, you know, the off season being an issue for us. I think it's just, um, just a new system, new guys, you know, guys are down, guys have to come in and, and it's just not, the chemistry I feel isn't there quite yet. But uh, going forward, I think, you know, things are going to get much better and we're going to play a lot faster. We're going to communicate a lot better, and that's going to solve a lot of issues. Does it feel like y'all had, like had a growth trajectory with you the last few games? I know McCarthy had said one week he felt like three snaps was more cleaned up, and then the next week less so. so how, how would you feel like y'all have developed as a defense from week one to week four? Can you repeat that, please? Do you feel like y'all have grown in your or developed 
uh, in a positive way in understanding the scheme from week one to week four? Um, uh, yeah, I mean, we all, we have accountability in the building. So when guys have pre-snap, you know, MAs or MEs, it's addressed. And uh, it was it was a lot higher week one than it is week four. So I think, you know, as a defense, we are evolving in that area. But there are still small details in the defense that need to be, you know, addressed and ironed out. I guess the layman would say when you give up 300 yards rushing, you would assume there were a lot of mental errors. Or when you give up 300 rushing yards, is that more physical or is it a combination of everything? Uh, I think it was a, it was more of a combination of everything. I mean, like I said, I mean, MAs were down, but there were still MEs, MAs. Um, every snap wasn't as physical as we wanted to be. Some physical, I mean, some uh, snaps were wasn't, wasn't up to our standards. So it all marries in together, and uh, it accumulates to 300 yards rushing. Has, has Mike Nolan? Yeah, Jay, was it helpful at all in game planning to go against the Jason Garrett offense after knowing so much what he was about when he was in the building? Uh, I mean, you could say it's, it's a little easier, um, but um, this is also a different scheme than what we ran last year. So they're not going to run the exact same plays as they did, you know what I'm saying, as far as as the scheme of the defense, as far as how they're going to block things up on offense, as far as the routes they're going to run on the outside. It's going to be a little different. Um, but, I mean, it's it helps a little, but not a lot. And I'm sure he understands that as well. Hey, we'll finish up with uh, Michael's question right here. Since the first couple of weeks of the season, has Mike Nolan pulled back or simplified some of the defense mental load for you guys uh, so that you guys can play faster? Has he, has he pulled back a little bit conceptually on what he's asking of you guys at all? Um, I, I, I wouldn't say that. Um, I mean, when you in training camp, there's a the menu for plays is very big. And once the season starts and game plans, game planning starts, the menu automatic, automatically shrinks down. So um, going into games, it's not a, a whole lot of variety of different things to do. It's just um, I don't think he's taking the mental load off of off of us. But but I also feel like. We just, have to, we just have to play faster, man. Um, we have to dive into the game plan. It's not a hard game plan. It's never a hard game plan. You just have to dive into it, be intentional about it, and be de detailing work, and everything will come out the way you want it. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys.